Hello, uh, my name is uh, Marianne Ostrat and I am the producer of uh, Kids of the Night. Hello, uh, my name is Preet and I'm director of the film. Hello, my name is Grete and uh, I'm uh, an actress in this film and uh, I play a character named uh, Lies. Hello, uh, my name is Alice Seal and uh, I am also a actress in this film and I am playing uh, the role of Janne. Yes, so I'm very happy that four members of the film, film team of Kids of the Night are with us right now. And Kids of the Night is an uh, Estonian film for youngsters, which we screen in our um, children's and youth program this year. And I would like to take the chance to talk with you about this wonderful and inspiring film. And maybe we can start with the question um, to Brit and Marianne. Who of you was the starting point for the film project? Uh, I guess uh, Marianne was the starting point. Ma Ma Marianne had a script and uh, connected and looking for a director. So that was for this film, yeah. I'm gonna elaborate briefly. Yes, it, that the scream, uh, script came to me from Mart Traun, who is the, the co-writer of this film and also the cinematographer. We had been already working uh, together before and uh, I really loved the script and, uh, and uh, then it took some time to find the right director for it, but it proved to be pretty. And um, maybe, yes, it's a cast with a lot of young and new faces and it's always interesting to um, hear a little bit about um, how, um, yeah, how you found out with which actors you want to work and um, how long this process uh, took. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the casting process and also then the actresses maybe can tell us how they came into the film project. Uh, yes, uh, we looked across uh, all, all over the country and uh, uh, because it's, it's, it's a youth film, we looked also um, uh, acting schools and uh, we went to a lot of theatres and, and actually, actually uh, uh, Alice, we found uh, they, 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 are not, they were not uh, uh, in theatre school yet, so uh, we, we found her in a theatre play. So my friend recommended to go there. So, and uh, Greta was in film school in uh, in theatre school. So, uh, yes, we looked. I I guess around two months maybe. Um, the right parts, uh, right cast. Yeah. Okay, so Alice was the first one being in and was it totally clear which role she should play or wasn't this clear in the beginning? Uh, we actually, yeah, we, uh, we tried uh, all the actors uh, in different roles. Uh, all the, all the uh, ma main actors uh, have also uh, friends and uh, we, we, we mixed in the casting, yeah. Uh, the roles uh, to just see what happens. So, because uh, a lot of young actors, uh, uh, we, uh, I, I especially didn't have any uh, previous experience with them, not working together, haven't seen them really in place. Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, I saw one play with Greta as well before in theatre school. So. Yeah. And um, a question for the two actresses, um, working so close together um, with people you don't know that this well um, could be difficult. How was working for you on the film set? And maybe you can tell us a bit about how you worked together. Um, 
for me it was uh, actually really comfortable because uh, uh, first of all we were uh, uh, rehearsing before we were uh, shooting so i get to uh, know the fellow actors actors uh, before. I knew uh, Jaune before, who played uh, uh, my character's uh, best friend. So, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, that really helped. And, but uh, all the actors uh, were so uh, professional, so there was uh, actually no problem for me to play with them. And uh, it was only pleasant, <laughs> yes. And um, Alice, do you maybe remember a situation during the shooting which was especially challenging for you? Uh, well, I have to ride with a horse a little bit uh, and uh, I didn't have no experience before that with horses. Uh, and I actually was a little bit scared of them. Uh, so it was uh, quite challenging. Uh, but we had a few uh, uh, horse riding lessons before, so I got over that fear and uh, now I am much more in a good relationship with horses. <laughs> and uh, there was also another thing. Um, I didn't have my ears pierced uh, before this film. And because my character's uh, story kind of revolves around those earrings, uh, I had to get my ears pierced. Uh, and it was uh, two weeks before uh, we uh, shoot it the first scenes. And um, the changing of these earrings was a very painful progress. <laughs> so there were many uh, new things for me in this film. <laughs> It was a great experience. The film um, takes place on one single night, but um, how many shooting nights did you have um, for the whole story? And maybe you can also, yeah. Yeah, it was all together 24 days and uh, nights. Uh, uh, so uh, I can't really remember which ones were nights and which one were days. So uh, it's mm, about half of the film takes place like, like uh, in a night night time. But uh, yeah, we, 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 we shot it quite quickly. So we had to be, be uh, quite prepared before. Uh, so we rehearsed a lot and, and, and shot only the, what was necessary on the, on the set. So. And um, did the Corona pandemic had any influence on your work? Did you actually? Yeah, when we shot the film, then uh, uh, it wasn't uh, yet the pandemic then. So uh, it was uh, during the post production. So uh, yeah, uh, we shifted some things. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, producer Mariana can comment as well. Uh, yeah, we shifted uh, it, it's our national premiere and uh, and post production uh, uh, maybe half a year. Uh, uh, we, we did it longer. I think we all, we all think that uh, it, it was maybe a small benefit as well. We had more time <laughs> to finish the film. So, yes. but luckily, yeah, it was shot before the um, uh, pandemic. So uh, we. On the set, we had no problems. So. Mariana, do you want to add anything? Yes, I wanted to add. Uh, I think more than half of the days were actually nights, shooting nights, and uh, I was my main concern out of all the concerns was how the team and the actors are going to uh, manage mentally. So I was really <laughs> praying for them. Uh, but it was uh, it was actually great. It was beautiful summer, and we have white nights in Estonia, so it was quite yeah. magical. But um, but uh, and uh, regarding uh, Corona, it was shot in summer 2019, so uh, that uh, wasn't happening yet. But we postponed the the Estonian premiere for three times. And eventually we released the film in summer, in July, exactly during the time when the film takes place. 
and um, we wouldn't have dared to do it without the pandemic but i think it actually fitted very well it's really a summer film and uh, all in all it played very well in estonia it's of course the cinema um, attendance is affected but uh, but it was okay we have had 22000 admissions at the moment and for a country of 1.3 million people it's a decent that's right decent mm -hmm. The three sisters are the center of the film, um, especially Lise, which is the leading role, and um, but also the parents are very interesting. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the idea about those um, characters. Brit or Marianne? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, yes, mm, the concept of the parents, parents, uh, mm, I especially like them to have to be more friendly, but uh, uh, they like should have a conflict. So, um, so then we uh, developed a bit more. So mother, mother is uh, Father is uh, prote protecting uh, daughters more, and uh, yeah, and we uh, played around uh, with this idea a lot on the set even. Uh, but on the set we didn't uh, much change the script, but uh, we a bit developed the idea further that mother was most more concerned and father was more protecting, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but ma maybe Marianne, uh, Marianne can uh, comment a bit more because, uh, yeah, I, I, I was joining the project um, uh, later. What was, uh, was, was there any, uh, anything uh, a lot different in, in early days when you started to develop the script? Uh, yeah. Not uh, regarding the parents. I mean, of course, the script went through like a natural development process, but uh, regarding parents, I mean, we all have parents. And uh, my favorite part of them is that they're also human and they have also been young, but they also have them quirks. And uh, and the uh, parents are not only parents, they are also like people. And, uh, but, and especially the father, uh, who is played by Peter Oya, who is a very famous and beloved comedian in Estonia, hasn't done a film role for a long time. And uh, his uh, father, who is always on the side of the daughters, has really, um, to me, uh, received surprisingly a lot of uh, uh, very warm uh, feedback when I was, uh, when my friends later on for, told me, like, or other fellow filmmakers, what they thought of the film, they often brought out the father. <laughs> I think it's very at atypical father for an Estonian film. Yes, yes. And uh, we, yeah, we, we are really happy to have them because, uh, yeah, they, the both of the actors don't like casting much and, and, uh, and uh, they, uh, when they came to casting, they, uh, went so happy, uh, happy mood about uh, casting and so on. And I said, you know, uh, I know, I know you very well. You are quite uh, well known in Estonia, but you haven't played together any role together. So we had to check you uh, together. And yeah, they uh, they then realized that yeah, Estonia is so small country, but they uh, they haven't had a, a good role together yet. They haven't played together, so that was our our chance. <clears throat> yeah, so I am uh, 38 years old and I'm the youngest of three siblings. I have an older sister and so on. And um, when I watched the film, I could relate to each of the sisters in particular situations. But which target group did you have in your mind or do you have in your mind for the film? I will. Uh, yeah, Mariana, maybe. I wanted to say that target group actually is a marketing tool. It's uh, <laughs> whom do we direct the marketing materials, who will see the Facebook posts and trailers. 
but the film itself is often i mean it's much much for much wider uh, bunch of people so uh, sorry Brit, for jumping into an arsenal but uh, <laughs> But I would say yeah. this film is actually for everybody who has ever been young to yeah. look and laugh at it. And uh, I watched the film uh, one day after the premiere with regular uh, audience. I had to introduce the screening. And in my row, I could see an, uh, like an old, old couple, I would say, in their 60s, like mm -hmm. holding each other and laughing really hard throughout the whole film. And it made me so, so happy. Yes, uh, for me, uh, it was uh, from the beginning, I, I agree with the marketing thing, but uh, from the beginning already, I thought uh, it's, uh, it's like a family film for me. It's, of course, it's a youth film, but it's uh, more like a family film. Like, uh, uh, um, I was did a, did a children's film before, and, uh, and, and, and it was like uh, till up to 12 years or... Uh, I, I, I like to thought that uh, this film is uh, to go uh, to cinemas with uh, family, uh, um, like like starting from uh, twelve, uh, with everyone. You can take a grandmother or father, and fathers can take daughters to go. And, uh, and that was that was my idea behind the film. So that's why the ages there are so different age groups, and we thought also that. Uh, there are, yeah, um, it, uh, there are roles for or, or characters for um, any age group, uh, really. Yeah, we don't have grandmothers, but uh, yeah, uh, otherwise, yeah, it, it works as a family film, <laughs> teenage yeah. family film. That's right. Um, so you told us that the shooting um, was two years ago and um, Alice and Greta, how did this change your life? Um, are you going to continue um, acting or are you maybe already in other projects? Um, can you tell us a bit about how, your situation right now? Yes, well, I uh, finished uh, theater school while we were actually uh, shooting the film two years ago. So I have been acting since, uh, since then in uh, in theater, and of course, it's uh, it I I believe changed uh, because it, first of all, it came me uh, a great opportunity and experiment, and uh, I also uh, work with the camera nowadays uh, again in uh, in short movies and so on and I have been done some stuff so I will definitely uh, continue this road okay good to hear and how about you Alice <laughs> yes I am uh, also continuing uh, with acting uh, right now I am uh, studying acting uh, in Estonian Academy of uh, uh, theater and music and uh, I'm very um, happy that I had this uh, experience before school even uh, started so I have a lot to learn from and uh, yeah okay and maybe one last question to Marianne to maybe you <laughs> um, Yes, you said that the film was running quite good in cinemas, doing quite well, but um, making independent film for youngsters is nothing I would assume that you can get rich of money um, from. But why did you decide to realize the film? Uh, well, uh, we, uh, we had a very good distributor on board from the beginning, so we kind of had this, um, nothing can be guaranteed, but like, the guarantee that you can have that it's going to be in theaters and uh, and uh, more, uh, I mean we have this great partner that will take care of getting it out to the audiences and yes it did well uh, considering the COVID situation or the post-COVID situation considering the pre-COVID situation it didn't do that well but uh, I mean there is this passion for filmmaking in us and we love the script and uh, and uh, the film is I can't say it's made for the audiences. We also don't forget about ourselves. So we do films that we also want to see, but let's say with audiences in mind. But there is, uh, I think films is you just have to do it. it uh, it's, it's what we do, it's how we live. And from my own side, it's also an odd 
or homage to the night in Tallinn. I've been living in Tallinn all my life and the night, Tallinn nightlife has been a big part of my life in my early 20s. So it was kind of like a, like a little load to that, this film. Yeah, so thank you all for taking the time for talking um, to me today. And last but not least, I would like to thank you all for this wonderful film. It's a film which succeeds to capture the magic atmosphere of a unique summer night. And at the same time, it's also um, a declaration of love to family in general, but to sisters in particular. And thank you so much for giving the film to Lübeck for its international premiere. And we keep our fingers crossed that this festival journey will start and will yes, have, be a very long and successful one for you. Yeah. Thank you for selecting. You have a nice festival. I once have been there already with another film. So yeah, let's hope uh, it's, it's going to be a nice start for the film. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>